She just told her family that she was pregnant, celebrating her birthday when it happened. A teenager is dead. Fox 25's Ted Daniel live in High Park tonight with the latest on this. Ted. Castillo was killed while celebrating her 18th birthday at a friend's apartment. Friends say Paula Castillo was more than three months pregnant, had recently got an ultrasound, and was looking forward to becoming a mother. Boston homicide detectives have identified people they want to question in connection with the murder. The hunt is on for the person who killed a young woman and her unborn child. Well, well was, she was born here. We both were actually. Um, then we got sent, well, my mother sent us to the ER and we were there for about five years and we were raised there with my grandmother and my aunt. Growing up here and there, it was just kind of not weird. I would say good in a way because we would learn both cultures and both languages at the same time. From there, we just came back over here in 1998 and we used to live in Mattapan for about a year and then we moved over here like at the end of 1999. I mean, it's always good to have a sibling but with me and her, I used, they used to always keep us together. When one of us is going somewhere, the other one had to go. They used to dress us the same all the time. And, and well, part of our thing, our main thing was fighting. If we weren't fighting, we weren't normal at the moment. There was something wrong with us. We had to fight at least twice a day, every day. But no matter how many times we fought, and no matter like the way that we fought she was still my sister at the end of the day and she know that i was still her sister no, nothing really stopped us from that well she was always out partying and out chilling with our friends um until she found out that she was pregnant she kind of slowed that roll down a little bit and she was just starting to stay home a little more. I mean, she would still hang out. Just nothing could stop that girl from hanging out if she wanted to. But she was just staying home a little more. She was just relaxing. She was starting to get all her papers done for her to start school again. She was going to get her GED done. Um, my mother was actually supposed to take her... Um, to the GD place. I have no clue to where that is because I actually graduated. But my mother was supposed to take her to that place the day of her birthday, which was the Friday before all that happened, um, so she can get signed up. She had just came from seeing her baby because she had an appointment and she had saw the baby for the first time so she came home very happy with her ultrasound pictures she was also supposed to start a job that week and she was just starting to get her life together again so she can just be the mother that she was going to be and i know she was going to be a good mother she actually just came home one day and she was like okay well guess what i'm like you're pregnant she was like, dang, what was that the first thing that had to come out of your mouth? I'm like, I was just guessing. I was like, don't tell me you are. She was like, yeah, I had a physical today. And they told me I was pregnant. I was like, oh, God. And then she was just like, you think you can take me to Walgreens? I need to buy a test. I was like, if they told you at the hospital, that means that you are. But as hard-headed as she was, she made me drive all the way to Walgreens. So she can buy a test over there so she can do it at home after they had already told her that they she was at the hospital and she did it and she comes out two minutes later and she was like Kayla what does this mean I'm like a cross it means that you are pregnant she she just like stayed quiet for like 30 seconds she was like oh my god and I asked her if she was gonna keep it she was like well, yeah, what else am I supposed to do? And she, ever since then, she was just like, her baby. Everything was like about her baby. She was starting to focus more on 
herself and her baby than anything else. Well, with the birthday parties, it was just always, well, all the time it was like my mom, my dad, well, not my dad. It used to be my mom, my brother, it used to be her, and me. It was just a little small birthday parties, and it wasn't really a birthday party, it was just like cutting a cake and singing happy birthday. My mother would never let one of the our birthdays pass. She would always buy us a cake. And since my brother's birthday is a few days later, she used to always um, celebrate both their birthdays together. And just like buy one cake and put 12 and 16 or whatever age they were. And it used to be just us. We used to have so much fun. We didn't need to be surrounded by a whole bunch of people. It was just us just chilling and having a good time. We would listen to music and dance with ourselves. And we used to take as many pictures as we can like as we could and just capture every angle, every moment, every laughter, every slap in the face with the cake that we could. <laughs> the one day before she passed away and we were just talking and she was like planning her baby shower. She wanted for her baby shower to be in December because um, she wanted to do it with my mother's birthday. My mother's birthday is December 13th and she wanted to actually like have the baby shower together with her birthday. And she was like planning it. She was like, oh, there's a place around here that I want to go to see like how the souvenirs are. And she was just planning on her baby shower. And she had it all in her head how she was going to get the things. She wasn't really going to ask anybody for help. That she wanted to do everything basically on her own. But still, of course, she would have help from us. But... She just felt like she wanted to be that independent, that she just wanted to do everything on her own and see how far she can do it on her own. And when we came home, I actually made her bake a cake because I didn't want to make it. I just wanted to eat it. So I just made her do it. <laughs> and she just did it. And the next day, it was just a regular day but when I saw her it was different because when she was actually cleaning my mom's room and I had came out of my room and like I passed by her and I like I was like wait and I walked back and I just stayed staring at her like she didn't know I was looking at her I just stayed staring at her for like a whole minute and that's when it like actually hit me I was like wow she's actually pregnant she's actually gonna have the baby and everything like her of all people and it didn't it took me almost four months to actually like get get it to me like I'm gonna be an auntie and everything and it was like at that moment I felt so proud of her I felt so I looked at her different ever since then. Then the next day was her birthday. The Friday she was happy that she finally turned 18 and she can go clubbing and everything. I was actually waiting for her to turn 18 so I can take her clubbing with me. Um, but can't, I couldn't really take her too many places and she was already like showing and big with the baby but she had that was the day of her first ultrasound and she came home and she showed me the picture of the baby and she actually said the baby doesn't look like her that it has a big head and then she took the picture and she was like look at the side of the face and look at mine we do not look alike I'm like it's only four months how can you tell? And it's in your stomach. But she was just like so happy that she was actually going to have a baby. They couldn't really tell her what it was yet. Um, I guess it was like too early or it was like hiding its gender or something.